Richards, unable to haul it in. Back door is open, and Mathurin takes it all the way to the bucket. Nifty save by Creesa at midcourt. The lane is open for Larson. The kick out, now the drive, no look, Kyer! Not picking up ticky-tack fouls is, is a thing that they're talking about. And Mathurin off the window. Leads Dale and Terry, the left. You know he's putting a lot of pressure on himself. And which this Wichita State team destined for big things. Dribble penetration by Kyer. He's been able to get into the lane and oh, oh, oh. Matherin. In the post, look how many black jerseys converge on him. And that opens up Benedict Matherin. Larson with space, so he'll let it fly. No good. Underneath Matherin. Johns Jr. is trapped. And there's a turnover. The pressure for Arizona. Up ahead is Coloco. No, this is Matherin, and he will lay it in. Coloco with the huge rejection. Going up top. Matherin lays it in. He's getting better. Every time you see him, he's added something to his game. Matherin is just so tough. He can score. I've been impressed with his offensive patience. He's a really good cutter. He's a, just a good player, honestly. Seen Michigan use some defense to turn it into offense. Can they string together some stops here? Down by 14 under 12 to play, but Matherin. Six points, seven rebounds a game. Here's Matherin, he turns the corner. The runner, a little bit firm, he follows his shot. There's your two after the rebound. Made free throws, they put the full court pressure on you. Very similar things that Dana Altman does at Oregon. And then they can finish, they come right back. Well said there, Dave. I like the press right here, trying to pass it up. See if they go a high low and get Coloco with two feet in the paint. Whoa, I think Curry just got dunked on right there. <laughs> Matherin inside. Dave, do you remember this as well? Oh, oh so Matherin wrapping it. We're waiting to see what they're going to get, what to expect. And Tommy Lloyd and his staff and this team have exploded. Single digits on the time. Matherin trying to get up and under. And scored in the lane. Giselle jabbing and driving straight from behind. Kyer can get out. it. Matherin rips it with the right hand. Tommy Lloyd's group is doing right now is they're doing both. No help. Same move. Matherin cleans up. He's got another 20. It's a full court press, but they're not going to do that today. Not with the way Arizona likes to play as Matherin after last year's bout with the COVID season. He's extra special. Matherin. It's a good possession, though. Got a post double. Got a good wide open look for a good shooter. Matherin. And a rejection. A bit of an answer that time by Coloco. Matherin, count it. Kerr, Krisa. Over to Matherin. Coming off. He's a shooter. Please. John Cooks. Oh, nice back cut. Oh, that was well done. <laughs> Matherin tries to get him going. He's done that the last three games. For the holidays, many of them back home, so this ticket not part of their student package. They're able to offer those to the community, and the community gobbled them up. Arizona's goal should be get to try and get this thing to double digits before halftime. He sees his shot, and there's a reason. You're asking for what you got. They were supposed to play Colorado State, one of the six remaining unbeaten. He's really Matthew good. A nice move. About every possession right now for Arizona. And he's the guy. That's one for their last nine, and there it is on cue. Kyer baseline. Matherin takes it himself with great length at 6 6. And his finger. And an air ball from Vescovy. Push ahead. Matherin jams it home. He is so good. The western part of the state, including Mayville, Kentucky. We saw Mayville's finest. Chris Lofton in the yes. building tonight. Yes. Got one inside the line there. See. That's how you beat it. Yep. Nice cross pass. 
Well, there's your there's your interior. You said that completely shut down. Jamal Bain at the other end. Matherin flushes. Inside Matherin. Fortunate enough to do this, and the officials were all we're all dealing with the crazy plane schedules right now too. Right. Waking up this morning, checking. Ah, uh, there's the low. Minutes of the second half, Arizona hasn't really unloaded on him yet, so it's a back and forth possession. That's a nice flex cut right there. He's there, takes a shot to the face, seems to be okay. Matherin off the window. The one thing Matherin has really improved upon this year is his rebound. Matherin trying to add to that tally. Trying to get to those double digits. He got it there. Their defense doesn't get enough credit for how successful they've been. And Stanford, another look inside. Kirk Kreese grabs a loose ball. Arizona runs with Benedict Mather in a transition three. Drop pass, deep three. Benedict Matherin. You got to get a timeout. Pella Larson, a two on one with Matherin. Larson drops it off, and Matherin the slam. But they're very skilled. That kid can and, really shoot the ball. Oh my goodness. And look at that Mike. stroke. And this is without Tabalas. You know, that, there's one yeah. of the prettiest strokes in the country wow. right there. Salas Roberson. He's a freshman from O'Dowd High School in Oakland. Good and Matherin gracious. just drains another three. Matherin. A, a very focused Cody Riley. Matherin drills the three as he got. Don't encourage calls <laughs> like that, please. We haven't had a whistle yet. <laughs> another three. That from Matherin. Points per game. Good for eighth in the conference. Meanwhile, Arizona's 0 for 4. They finally get a bucket here in the second half. Hawk is coming alive here in the second half. Matherin left open, and he drills a three. Arizona shooting 50% from the floor early on. One for three from three. Matherin in the paint, counted, and one. And good job by Creasa finding Matherin. Gets deep, plays it up and in, counted. Still only one field goal attempt. Here's his second, and he's on the board. His first points of the day. Here comes Carissa. Matherin. Oh, up and under. Pretty move in the finish. Matherin from deep. Yes. And here comes trouble now as they lob it up top. Oh, what a play. And handling underneath, looking for the offensive board as Jackson lost the handle. A tip from Lawrence preventing a fast break. Arizona may still get one on the break, and they do. Carry the rebound. Matherin for three. And here come the Cats. Cats have numbers. Five on two. And Matherin. Just back it out if you're Arizona now. Looks like a matchup. Had to take that shot. Well, and of course shot. he knocks it down. Here's the zone again. And there's Matherin. Now it's plus 14. Yeah, good luck here. You're in the open court. I mean, this is an easy one. And, and a great job. Matherin from G. I got a nominee for you on Shaq and the Fool, baby. Here's Carissa from the corner. Ball fake. All oh, pretty left. My mom's gumbo was the best, though. Yeah, oh, watch please. out I got to give my wife credit, at least. She makes a good gumbo. Bam! Oh! In a big Mathern, ladies and gentlemen. He's the right back to him. Boy, he thought about it. Instead of that. Wow. Beautiful. I know he knows for sure. <laughs> I just I was with you though. I'm like, oh. Within distance. You grab hold of the life preserver, right? Before you go down into the water, you grab hold, but then there's that. Mathern averages over five rebounds per game. One of the top guard rebounders in the league. Numbers for Arizona. Matherin for three. Richardson for Ketnon, tipped away by Coloco. Too much size to lob that up there. Matherin, coast to coast. Big shot that he had against Oregon last game. Uh oh, he's Matherin. And numbers for Arizona. Matherin decides to take it himself. Off the heel of the rim. Good shot for Anthony Walker. And yet, have worn them today, but they are a little tough to identify, so they are. I apologize. To distinguish, and, but how about Madsen shooting over Coloco in the yeah. corner? And the lob pass out of the inbounds, Matherin. And the 
key for Colorado. They have not panicked under the pressure. They're actually doing the right thing. They're back cutting. They're posting up. They are not panicking. But there's his teammate, as he always is, Christian Coloco. Matherin quickly at the other end, throws it down with two hands. Oregon saw that with a game-winning shot over the weekend. USC's won six in a row, several of them in thrilling fashion, game-winning shots. Boy, SC's had some good shots. They've just not made them. It was one of the things, Jay, that played them at the end of the first meeting with Arizona. They felt like they had some really good looks that didn't go. Actually, I got it after we did the uh, Arizona-Oregon game. I got a text from Steve Kerr. Pella Larson, yeah. Tabellis got the strip. <laughs> and then Creason, what a pass. Matt in with his first basket. Second leading score in the Pac-12. Ten turnover by Stanford. Another fast break opportunity. What a pass. Oh. Kerr, Matt in with the basket. Email thread going around between the Prince and Here's Matt in with a steal. And here comes Showtime. <laughs> Midway point of the shot clock and ball up the screen for Matherin, who rises for three. I think they've said, look, Arizona's got to miss threes for us to win this game. Same spot, same result for Ben Matherin. Because it's great execution by Stanford right now. He's hit three in a row. Benedict Matherin. Harrison Ingram, short on the three. Here we go. Here come the Cats, the run out to Benedict Matherin. Transition, foul and one. Yeah. And there's off the inbounds, Matherin. He does. Hey, he is going to seek you out. Nice. Backdoor, Matherin. Reverse and one. It's stolen by Matherin. Into Juzang. Here he comes. Matherin. Tough angle, yes. Matherin rises and gives Arizona the lead. Trying to free up Matherin, he does exactly that. Knocks down the three point. He makes it look easy. Coloco trying to go back door. Matherin receives and finishes. Arizona Wildcats against the 16 seed Wright State. Six to shoot. Matherin will take it. Thank you very much. You have the mop in your hand. You got to have eyes in the back of your head. Matherin gets a look. What a tough angle and a stare down to the TCU bet. Oh, they're talking right now. Look at Ben and Eddie. Ooh, go catch your body, Ben. Wow, did he cock that one back. <laughs> Eddie, in that situation, he's not trying to get the TCU fans involved. One and done that time for TCU. Matherin takes it all the way. He's in for two. Eddie doing a nice job sliding his feet. Matherin for the tie. Right here on a pick and roll coverage between Miles Jr. and O'Bannon Jr. in that situation, and Ben Matherin made them pay. Didn't take out Kerr. He's been playing offense defense with him. That's that. Offensive rebound. It's a big one for Matherin. He's got 26. Good job by Matherin. Wouldn't allow Miller to even box him up. How about a third opportunity? That's not there. Matherin with another big offensive rebound. Matherin puts it up. Wow. 11 of the last 13 for the Pac-12 Player of the Year. This is just Will, Lisa, and Avery, and one, two, Three shots missed by Kerr and Ben Matherin again on the offensive glass. His ability to leap off the two feet vertically is unreal. It's unmatched. <laughs> he can afford it. I, I, you better believe he can. Tire. Finds Matherin. Matherin finally knocks one down. Looking for Matherin here. Five to shoot. And Matherin goes to the basket. Hangs. Oh, my goodness. Matherin, he'll pull a three. Oh, that is smooth. He's got the quick release. Here he comes.